So I'm always in my car because I'm always going somewhere. But also, um, you know, it's like a quiet space. Um, but I want to talk about John and I. Um, because I know everybody's like, what's going on? My sister called me today. I haven't spoken to her in, uh, it's been some months. It's been since like April. And she called me because she was like, I'm worried about you, sister. What's going on? Are you okay? Uh, someone told her that, um, you know, uh, I was about to burn the house down. Because, you know, there's there's a chance that I may have said, <laughs> I was going to burn my goddamn house down. Because um, I was that goddamn mad. She told me that, uh, someone told her that uh, John called the police on me. Look. <laughs> People love adding extra shit on to things. Because it makes them feel better about themselves. It makes them feel like their situation is less. Um, quit your lying, bitch. Quit your lying. John didn't call the police on me. I didn't burn the house down. I wanted to. <laughs> I actually, I didn't want to burn the house down. I wanted to burn all of his shit in the front yard. And then I wanted to dance around it like a fucking maypole. That's what the fuck happened. I will, in my mind. <laughs> I was pissed. I was really angry. Um... And you get pissed and you get really angry when you completely expose yourself to someone and they abandon you. And that's what happened. I was finally at a place where I was like, you know, I, I, I can trust, I can trust him with these emotions. I can show him that the reason why I've been so hard and guarded and all this stuff is, you know, there's a, there's a lot of shit behind it. I felt like he was ready. He's gone to anger management and he's doing therapy and, you know, he's, he, he's been helping around the house. Like, he's really been a good guy lately. But you can't expect a hurt person to accept your pain and that's what I was trying to do I was expecting him to accept my pain and he couldn't because he couldn't even accept his own and I had to deal with his mom calling me a bad mother That's why I wanted to burn the house down with her in it. I was pissed. I won't even let anyway. John and I have been together almost 10 years. We dated in private for seven months because we didn't want to deal with the opinions of others. When shit got bad, I wanted to stop lying. In that process, I had to let go of some shit and I had to talk about shit. He wasn't ready. Let me, let me try, let me. When I talked to my sister this morning, she said, you've said things that have really hurt me and you've attacked me. I said, how? How, how, how have I attacked you? How have I hurt you? What did I say? And one thing in particular, she said, you told me that I put too much on my kids. And it's true. She said, that's not fair. You attacked me. You don't know what I've been through. I had to do this. I had to do that. And I told her, you keep saying had. It's past tense. You're not there anymore. 
Why do you keep leaving yourself in that space, in that time? She said, well, you could have said things to me in a different way. Nope, I couldn't. You left me. Yeah, I did. Because I was tired of being her emotional punching bag. See, it doesn't matter how somebody says something to you. If you're not able to receive it at that particular time and make the change in order to be better, there's no point in them saying that. There's no point in them staying around because then they're just hurting themselves the way you're hurting. And you can't ask that of people. And that was the same thing with John. Everything that I have ever told him never mattered because he wasn't in a space where he was able to receive it. We stopped fighting. The knives are down. The shields are down. We don't want to be back together. each other's enemy anymore. We were both hurting. And we were fighting each other because we were fighting pieces of ourselves that we didn't want to deal with. Because it's hard as shit to look inward. It's hard as shit to just be better. Just because. For no reason. Just because. Just be better. We're ready to be better now. Without the opinions of others. I'll probably still tell you some stuff. But it's time for us to heal and grow. Because our kids are goddamn ruthless and um, we need to be better <laughs> for them in, in some regard in, in most in many regards and we need to be better for ourselves but look look if you've never met my ch look my children my children mm, they are nuts like their mother and their father but the cool thing about them is they know their worth they don't take shit. And that, that constantly pushes me to be better. Because all the fear and doubt and insecurity that I had, I was able to push it to the side to help those kids have a true core. To have a kind, conscious content of their character. And if I gave that all to them, I think I deserve it too. And I'm gonna grab it. Cause I've had this little taste of freedom. And uh, I wanna start living in complacency and freedom instead of complacency and some diluted security. I'm ready to live. I'm living. And it's going to be scary along the way, but I don't give a shit anymore.